Mark Twain once said, the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Well, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell got to learn that firsthand when someone broke into the uh, Twitter account of the NFL and posted that Roger Goodell had died. Now, he had not died. He was on the golf course at the time. Uh, maybe he was dying there. But he is very healthy, very well alive. The issue comes not so much how does someone know if someone's dead or not, but how does someone know what assets a deceased person has? It's a very common question. Clients, children come to me after the parents die and they ask, well, how do I know what my mom and dad had? Well, one good way to, to go about you know, fixing that issue is to have everything owned by a trust. So that way all the statements show that a trust owns all the assets. The trust then uh, positions all the assets in a way where they can be administered very quickly. Another way is forward all the statements, you know, forward the mail, get all the statements over a 30 to 60 day period, play Sherlock Holmes and find it. Now, one piece of advice I give to all, my, all of my estate planning clients is it's a good idea to update a list of assets and contact people every year. So each January I do that, I take a legal pad, I write my banker, my financial advisor, my life insurance advisor, straight on down with an average amount and what, of, of what's in each account. That way it makes it easy for my wife, makes it easy for my kids, makes it easy for anyone else who's operating my trust. So my advice to you today is don't make it a mystery. Don't turn your kids into Sherlock Holmes. Get a revocable trust in place, put your assets in the trust, and list your assets in a way once a year that make it really easy for the trustee to find everything. That, my name is Michael Wild, and that's your estate planning tip of the week.